Here we go. This is tricky. Let's see. Five. Okay. Mm. <laughs> By Cheslau. By Cheslau. I like the first one better. By Cheslau. Uh, okay. By Expo. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, just I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna mess with you. Just go ahead and do it. Okay, one more time. Oh, yeah. Vice Vice Chesla, Butuso, Butuso. Yeah. No, the first, the first one. Butuso. Yeah. Vicheslav Butuso. Pro Proguki. Proguki po vode. Po vu. I don't. Oh my God. Why does this one look so like hard? Progoki po vode. Or vode. Proguki po vode. Vichislav. Yeah, now I see it. The V Y is B I almost like Vichislav. For two so Probuki Povodi. Vode. Okay. Requested by Raya. Uh the first I. I Ilya. Yeah. Ilya or Aya? Ilya. Ilya. Forty seven. Forty seven thirty one. Причала рыбачил апостол Андрея, спаситель ходил по воде. И Андрей доставал из воды пескарея, спаситель погибших людей. И Андрей закричал, я покину причал, если ты мне откроешь секрет. И спаситель ответил спокойно, Андрей, никакого секрета здесь нет. Видишь, там на горе возвышается крест, Под ним десяток солдат, повиси-ка на нем, А когда надоест, возвращайся назад, Гулять по воде, гулять по воде, гулять по воде со мной. Но учитель на касках блистают рога, Черный ворон кружит над крестом. Объясни мне сейчас, пожалею дурака, а Распятие оставь на потом. А не мело спаситель, топнул в сердцах по водной глади ногой. Ты и вера на дурак, и Андрей в слезах Побрел с пескарями домой. Там на горе возвышается крест, под ним десяток солдат, повеси-ка на нем, а когда надоест, возвращайся назад.
шагае, возвышается крест, под ним десяток солдат, повеси-ка на нем. okay i feel um definitely i believe it was telling a story it wasn't as catchy as some of the other stuff you've played for me or that i've heard um very mellow very like melancholy and like just i feel like maybe he was telling a story or it was some type of anthem um you will be surprised i guess when you uh, from what I understood also, just like I'm, uh, I know that I'm probably going to have like a very, very individual and subjective perception of this song, but I think you'll still be surprised. Okay. But also the one thing I've noticed, and this is, it came to my attention in this song, but in every song is what I was kind of taught in like songwriting and production is the build up like that to me is has been like consistent across the board since we even started this podcast like how no matter how high or how low the song is mm -hmm. it the, or the music rather and what the song might be about the dynamics in every song i've ever heard is like amazing to me like just from the the music alone, without lyrics, without just the dynamics of the instrumentation of it all. So I could appreciate that in this okay. particular album. Um, the song, like I always start with the title. Right. The title is Walking on Water. So what's okay, I gave you the title. So now you, your next move, what you- what you, oh, Walking yeah. on Water. Yeah. Um, so more of like, faith having faith okay right okay in, in something or or just taking like a leap in love in in anything basically like okay. just walking on water is that's a miracle if you could do it um <laughs> uh where, yeah, where did you hear like, this story about walking on water of course uh in the bible that's what he's talking about and that's what i was like heck so god okay that's what he's talking about okay yeah so he's, having that. he's pretty i think from uh when i listened to it i think he was talking about uh the cross when jesus, nice. where jesus was crucified and um he's talking i think about one of his disciples so, maybe, so that's straight religious song i guess yeah yeah and i I don't know if I got religion so much from it. It was something of, in the video. There was a crowd view, and I was saying, "Okay, this isn't um, your typical concert." Yeah, that was a concert video. Yeah, it's, it was not a music video. Concert, but now that you is walking on water, and then it's a biblical song, I could definitely see why the crowd was so like calm yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and Ooh. I was very much surprised to find out that he was a Christian, and wow. he was like, a, yeah, he was a, he's a religious person, because, uh, and his transformation from being a wild rocker into you know like a person who puts such a meaning in his uh, songs, <laughs> yeah. So yes, that's that's, that's it. he's talking about someone who sees the who sees Jesus on the hill on the cross, right. you know. He he named Andre, but I'm trying to remember if there was a Andre, one of his disciples. Oh yeah, well we would say Andrew. Andrew, yeah. Andrew, yeah. Um, so yeah. I think in the it was Peter. Peter, what about Peter? Peter walked on, on the water with Jesus. Probably one of my favorite stories on the Bible. Yeah, but yeah, okay. Ooh, that, that's cool. To know the meaning behind it now, it makes it different, of course. 
his words give you know songs a different meaning. But yeah, I wouldn't have thought um, a religious or a biblical song. But cool.